Oh, oh love your you. necklace. Thank you. I just got the best birthday yet. Gorgeous. Thank you. Ooh, Thank you. Pretty. And look at your ring. Look at you. All look, at, look at me. Oh, look please. Look at you. All look at you. Georgie. And what is this in your ear? Okay, I have, okay, here's the deal with the ears. What is that? I was born with these big ears, so instead of, like, hiding them, I celebrate them by adding really big jewelry to Look them. at that! I've never seen anything like that! Yeah, yeah. Wow, I'm very I mean, impressed. It hurt like this. I can't imagine. It hurt. Oh! I had my belly button done, and that wasn't nearly as bad. These, oh, these still. I know. I know, but you know what? I, instead of covering them, I, like, hang stuff them. on them. Exactly. Same I'm, thing I do with my lips. Do <laughs> same all right. Well, first of all, you're absolutely beautiful in person. Thank you. I just am dying to know what is your what is your what's a typical day for you? Yeah. I, mean, I, I want to know. What you, I want to know what you eat. I want to know what you how you exercise. How much you exercise? All right. Well, there. First of all, there is no such thing as a, tip, a right, typical day. Right. A typical day. What time do you like to wake up in the morning? I wake up between six and seven. Okay. Usually six six thirty. I'd say six thirty is norm. Right. I like to get up when no one else is up. Right. I, I love that. It's either me. Or my daughter Delilah gets up okay. first. How old is she, Delilah? Delilah's so 11. 11, yeah. and okay. And Amelia's 8. And Amelia's 8, okay. Um, I get the kids off to school, make their lunches, you know, do all yep. of that, yep. and then I'll go work out. Right. So we'll talk like school So your workout, are you hardcore workout? Are you... I'm not as hardcore as everybody thinks I am. look at you, you're just so teeny tiny. I just, you know what, I'm consistent, and I've been right. consistent since I was 17 years old. So you've always worked out. Always. So this body is this body is, is is something that you work at. It's a worked out body. Okay. Never had a liposuction or anything. Right. It's my body. Right. I work hard for it and I like it. Strong and I, and it pays I, off. It pays off. You know, yeah. I work out like I brush my teeth. I mean, right, I right. wouldn't think of not brushing my teeth for a day. Well, and you always seem to me, whenever I watch these interviews with you, or I've seen the shows that you do, you always have this abundance of energy. Do you think the I workout's do. part of it? Yeah, I do. Do so you get those endomorphins going and all yeah. of a sudden, okay. I think it's about um, your thoughts, my mental, my thoughts, my mental state, working out, eating right. Yeah. It all plays a role. Do you really eat, what's your what's your favorite indulgent food? Oh, cookies and cake. I would you, say. So Lisa runs really cookies and cake. We need I to get do. that on camera. I she eat does. cake and I like I love red velvet cake. Oh, I love red favorite. velvet cake too. Oh, how about birthday cake? I love birthday cake. Me I too. never miss a birthday Me cake. Either. And Me when either. the kids were like really small and we were going to right. birthday cake or birthdays every weekend, I ate cake every weekend. This, the key is I don't eat it every day. Right. And I, if I do, I work out extra the next day. Okay. Or I, I modify my next day's eating. Right. So instead of just indulging all the time, I indulge, I pull back. I indulge, I pull right. back. And you look great. I mean, can I say your age? You're 46. Yeah, you right? can. Okay. I talk about it all the time. Okay, you're 46. You posed for Playboy. I did. Blew my mind, okay? I, I'm turning 42 on Sunday. I asked oh my, my daughter gosh. before I left, I said, what would you do if mommy went and posed nude for Playboy? She goes, I would kill myself. So I have to know, what did your daughters do first of all? Well, my daughters, they're still too young right. at the time to really, like, I, you don't come in and say girls, you know, they at the time were seven and nine, seven right. and 10. So it wasn't appropriate. It's not right. something, like they know I posed nude 10 years ago right, right. when I was pregnant with Delilah. Right. It wasn't appropriate to talk about it at this point. We are now starting to talk about it because right. now they're becoming aware of it. Well, I went to look at the pictures online this morning, but you have to join the Playboy Club ah! to do it. And I thought, how do I explain that to my husband? I'm going to, I'm sitting, I'm trying to prep for an interview, and I'm joining the Playboy Club so I can see the, the nude hysterical. photos of Lisa. Well, listen. So I can see what now. Now I can see what you look like. If you stay out there, someone will bring a Playboy for I you to see sign, it. and I you'll see, see it. it. I thought, how do I justify that on the credit card this yeah. month? Yeah. No, you know, just stand outside the signing. They they bring them. And you're having a good time in Minneapolis? I had a great time. I read on your Twitter that you wanted to go barge into Target and have them sell your book. Wasn't I think that, that is funny? So great. Well, I'm go I gotta do something because literally I love Target. I go in Target yeah. all the time. And I walk in there today and I'm like, wait Mom's a second. Best There's no Lisa Rinna book here. And I'm here promoting it. And Target's one of my favorite stores and I could use their help. Right. And this is their headquarters. Something must Put be your done. book in the. So what happened? Did you do it? Did you go to the corporate office? No, I'm going to. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Well, I never come prepared with questions, and this Good. time I thought I have to be prepared. So, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about the economy a little bit. All right. Everybody's kind of cutting back right now. What are you cutting back on? Is there anything that you're just kind of going? Uh, do I need the eight hundred dollar pair of shoes? Shopping. That shopping? right there. Absolutely right. shopping in my closet right now. Right. Me I, too. Yeah. I'm shopping in my closet. I cannot justify buying um, a pair of Louboutins right now. I can't justify right. buying a, a bag. 
Right. I can't really justify anything. It doesn't feel right. No matter what you have, it just doesn't feel right. Right. And I am, I am bargain shopping along with everybody else. And, and it feels good. Yeah. And you own two great stores. So are your stores, are you bringing in things that are a little bit more affordable? We are. A little bit? Yeah. We're, we've lowered Because you're our, a high-end boutique, right? Pretty. I mean, we're not as high-end as you would think. Right. We right. are a boutique. Um, we have lowered our price point. We've never been a super high price pointed boutique. Right. Um, but I have lowered my price point. It's really tough right now. You know, we have our really good days and we have our really bad days. Right, right. But we're, we're still open and we're, we're surviving. Do you so. work there yourself? I don't really, I don't even know how to run the computer there. I work in my own way. I think that would be so funny to go shopping at your store and all of a sudden it's like, there you are. It's, I'm there all the she's time. She's really there. I am all the time. Right. I'm always there. Harry's always there. We're always there. It's very close to our it's house. It's our business. It's our too. business. Yeah. It's our baby. We started it. We don't have anybody who runs it for us other than a manager and somebody who runs the books. I and mean, we are hands on mom and pop business. Well, listen, I wish you the best. I know you got a whole bunch of books here. You got people here to sign your thing. What's next for you? Oh, gosh. Lots of things. Um, another book. Okay. I'm going to write another book. What's it going to be about? It's going to be fiction. Oh, interesting. It's going to be a rom Roman Eclef. A Roman Eclef. You're going to live out your fantasies through your writing, huh? Yeah, guess well, listen, so. Listen, she posed nude for Playboy magazine. I mean, come on. Ah! I mean, <laughs> high five on that, sister. I'm all for Thank it. Thank you. Good for you. All right. It was very nice to meet nice you, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Thank Best you. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. That's it. We're out of here. Hi, Lisa. I'm